Michael, thank you for everything you've done to help me. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, oh that's no problem at all. I, I've been playing 5e for about six years now, so I'm, I'm really familiar with it. We're all mad here. Welcome to Dark Camelot Nightwatch uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I'm Dungeon Master Brian David Phillips, and this is our first session. Most of us have never played 5th edition. Most of us haven't played DNA D in a very long time, and so ooh, there are some kinks to work out, but that's okay. We'll work them out. Yes, we will. Let's see what happens. Mm hmm. Alrighty, uh, we'll get started. Welcome to Dark Camelot Nightwatch. You are all young, happy adventurers. Oh, I don't know if you're happy or not. Your character could be incredibly depressed, just like real life. Take my glasses off so I can see the screen. Now, your happy adventurers are have joined the Night Watch, where you are, well, you're, you're full-fledged members of the Night Watch, Night Watch, uh, which means you're in uh, a working group. You're like law enforcement or investigation, actually, your investigations. Uh, as you go up in levels, as you get experience, you may one day become Night's Watch. Ooh, there's an S in there, which is super special services. That would be the table round. So if you make it high enough, you too could be, well, no, not you too. Sorry, only one of you can possibly ever be a true Knight of the Round Table. You need to be a paladin to do that. And you need to be alive to do that. So the chances are pretty low for this group. But you are all good people and you are offering service to the realm. Right now, before you enter into your formal service for Nightwatch, you are in Abeline in the Untamed Outreach to visit a friend. Now what I'd like to know is, who is this friend? You don't know each other. You're, you're strangers to each other. You are not assigned to each other, to the same group, anything like that. You're just a group of folks from different areas, different races, different specialties, but you have one thing in common. You happen to be visiting a friend for her birthday. She, a human, is celebrating her 150th birthday. She is 150, and that's really unusual for a human. Yeah, that's old for a human. It's incredibly old. Now she's died twice and come back, so that's interesting. <laughs> Uh, she was one of your instructors at the academy, but you all had her for different classes. You had uh, different experiences. For some of you, she might have been a mentor. For some of you, she may have just been a, a really special teacher you care about. I would like to know more about her. So would you please tell me some things about her? So for instance, tell me. What race is she? Is she human? Is she teen? She's 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 the same person. It's all the same person. Yes, your special friend is the same special friend so as everyone. Friend it's a mutual friend. Okay, she she was an instructor at she's the she's academy. Human already. I'm sorry. She's she's a, oh, I already said she's human. Dumbass. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 150 human. 
Not half human, but human human, okay? Yeah. Um, what's her name? You tell me, what's her name? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Andante, what did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh, I thought you said something. I heard a... <laughs> uh, Belial. No, what's her name? Orwell. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Lady Gaga. No, it's... Her name is Lady, Lady Gaga. No, it's, it's Lady... Galadriel, Orwell, and some students may have called her Gaga. <laughs> For some, it may have been a term of endearment. For some, it may have been, fuck you, I hate you. But you guys didn't hate her necessarily. I don't know for sure, but you are counted amongst her friends who are coming for her birthday. Um, so we have to bear gifts? Or can just go empty? It's a birthday. Play songs. I do want to know a couple more things before we, we get into her birthday. Um, I'd like you to tell me what are two of her personality traits? What kind of person? What is she like? He's old. Old is not a personality trait. It's just who I am. Okay, so. She is always very cheerful, regardless of the situation. Okay. okay. Cheerful. And? She's very logical. Cheerful and logical. Not a Vulcan. Okay. Mm. Um, I still have many cats. Okay, that would be my next question, which is, what is her flaw? <laughs> and so she is a cat lady. <laughs> now, she's died twice and been brought back. All right. Wild Bill, what was the first time she died? What did, how did she die? She was run over by an ox cart. Okay. And um, Gunny, how was she brought back to life after that? Um, this is where I'm, I'm, I'm a little unsure of with the uh, technology the that's available. <laughs> That's a great question. Could be a rumor. Technology, rumor. the technology. Uh, it could be a rumor. Technology is about steampunk level, so Victorian than, level runs on steam, but it's okay, clean. Rumor cold. Is in a present at the moment, she's brought back to life. We we just heard about it, so it may not be true. Well, yes. okay. The rumor is, the rumor is that. Nobody brought her back to life. She was down in the morgue and she just got up. She just got up. Off. <laughs> okay. And, and her first her first death, she was very young. Okay. Young got hit by an ox cart because they're she running away. Play, she, she, she dashed out in front of yeah. a speeding vehicle, was was struck and killed. Ooh. Okay. A speeding, yeah. yes. a speeding ox cart. Yes. A speeding cart. Just <laughs> with wings. Yeah, they yeah. were winged buffalo. It's an ox cart They're with fleet, winged buffalo oxen. Okay. Fleet footed oxen. Okay. Who and used to open for um, uh, the Nirvana. That'll do it. They're still playing today. Um, Luthien. How did she die the second time? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I heard, okay, was not there. Uh, she died bravely saving her cat. <clears throat> she was saving so, a cat. Uh, a, a really large animal attack. 
What kind of animal was attacking her? It's from uh, the forest behind where they lived. So uh, some believe to be a bear, but you know, nobody is really, really certain what kind of uh, animal that is. Okay. And Dante, how, was she, how did she come back to life after the second death, saving her cat from a bear-like creature in the owl woods? Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I heard a uh, song that said um, she was uh, raised from the dead by the spirits of the forest. Oh, because, that's kind of Because neat. she was uh, saving a cat and they thought that uh, she was um, uh, being a hero. So it's like a heroic act. So they brought her back to life. That's kind of cool. It's connected to the spirits. Awesome. Okay. Cat and spirits. Kevin, I, I sent a, a new version of your spell sheet. But just check the old one and see if I changed the spells. I wasn't sure if I saved it. Just when I closed the file, it said that I hadn't saved. So you I think you I'll grab it. Spells. Okay. If you don't have different spells, then download the new. All right. Version. So you are okay. in. You are in the very small uh, town of uh, Abeline in the yeah. Untamed Outreach, which is an area of this continent, which. Uh, uh, it's kind of a, a no man's land in that uh, the mm -hmm. empire, uh, the emperor, Mordred the Fourteenth, has declared that uh, uh, settlements may not go there and encroach upon native territories. But Abeline is part of a group that a hundred years ago, uh, human settlers would encroach in this area and set up towns trying to take them over and then the emperor at that time which i believe that was doug doug the second uh he said no more and so there are settlements but they are unsupported and your your friend or mentor uh lady gaga uh, galadriel orwell has um, not really a lady. She's um, Galadriel Orwell. She's uh, moved back to that settlement in her retirement. Uh, I'm very sorry to report that her birthday party has been canceled. Mm. You're in the town, you're in the hamlet. Yeah. The birthday party's been canceled because in the untamed outreach, there's been a disease going around and um, uh, they don't have a name for it. They just call it the death curse because people who get it die. They, it's a wasting illness. So essentially they waste away. Uh, the voice gets very raspy and it's as if the soul slowly dies and your your friends normally cheery disposition is affected she tries to keep a happy face a cheerful face but she just doesn't and she is wasting wasting away and she didn't so, tell us about this disease before we came over well it happened it so happen. quickly we we know about the disease we know about the disease, but we didn't realize that she had caught it. And she caught it while you were in transit. And she died. Sorry. She died? She's she dead. dead. Yeah. Your friend has died. Um, if you would, Please go into the owlbear. Mm -hmm. 
because now if you need to zoom in use your your mouse has a wheel and you can zoom in with that and you are now it's three days later let's just get to her uh, okay let me check this uh, I need to move this here we are oh, that, what was that all right oh there's a wheel now hey good call on Dante you are at a funeral for oh, your oh, friend wow. zooming in lady Gaga how do you zoom in? Okay, on your mouse, yeah. you use the scroll bar. Uh, if you don't have a mouse, I don't know how. Um, you can move the screen around by clicking on it and just dragging it. And uh, for, I, I don't know how to do it otherwise, Lorraine. Uh, maybe you'll pinch it. Maybe you pinch it. Yeah, I have, I've got a touchpad, and I just put my fingers together and spread them apart, and it blew it up. Okay. Uh, Lorraine, did that help you? Yeah. Just like, put your really. fingers together <laughs> on the touchpad, and then move them apart and see if that'll blow it up. What a part. Your fingers. Your fingers. You put them on the, on the touchpad and then... Allow one touch. Yeah. Uh, one point one. Uh, let's see... Eight? Yeah. Did it work? Uh, not a no, just make it slightly larger. Do it again. Uh, try... Mm. Um, maybe you can try um, holding the... Oh, no. That, that, that's a terrible idea. I, I, I did something terrible. I blew up my my window. What's that lasso selection? I know. But tango selection, what's that for? I think that's for editing stuff. Oh, for editing, okay. There should be a zoom in. I know there's a, it's a plus there button. There should be. Says, oh, it's not the zoom in thing. Uh, or um, I think you're on my, you're at my desk. Just grab my mouse off my laptop and plug it into yours. Oh, you don't have a USB. Oh, you do. You can use it. I don't know. Hopefully you'll manage. You're at the funeral and after you know what has happened, uh, no one else is present at the uh, funeral except for your guide who uh, took you to this uh, location in the hills. This is Kalbrax. And yeah. uh, for this private ceremony, I would like each of you to say one thing about your friend. So tell us a story or something special about her and your relationship with her. Um, and we will, we will do this alphabetically. So Wild Bill, W, Wild. Oh, well, or, or, just, or, or just Brother Kelso is fine. Brother Kelso. Brother Kelso. Brother Kelso, could you please tell us something, a special moment or memory? Uh, Gaga was the person who was most influential in my decision to follow my faith uh, into uh, becoming an acolyte. Uh, she was the person who gave me the, uh, uh, guided me to uh, sacred texts that led me to feel that my uh, 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 purpose in life was greater than I had imagined before I studied under her. 
and so she has a uh, uh, great role in my uh, um, uh, in my upbringing. She connect. She uh, I she was uh, connected to me through the priest that uh, took me in uh, when uh, I was orphaned. Oh, that's nice. And uh, we're not doing alphabetical. I'm just going to go down the line. Uh, Luthien, would uh, you please share okay. your special story or memory? The Luthien character. Okay, she, although she's human, she's very connected to nature and she's very aligned with what we elves would believe in. So we do hope she can live a, a long life like uh, most elves would do. You know, she practiced the life of elf, even though she's human. And she's very, very uh, attached to her animals. <clears throat> so uh, we will miss her greatly. And Dante. Oh, my turn. Okay. Um, okay. She um, uh, was one of the uh, first few people that uh, would uh, stop and listen to my music when I was uh, performing on the streets when, as a really young uh, teakling. I just uh, yeah, and um, yeah, she stayed and um, she watched me perform and also gave me tips and uh, taught me how to become a better musician and introduced me to um, being close to animals. That's like like uh, having uh, friends with the nature, everything. So. So, <laughs> dear uh, teacher, uh, to to me, and uh, will greatly miss her. Yeah. Okay. Nice, Gunny. Met her at an NA meeting. <laughs> After twenty years of battles, being wounded. Uh, um, the addiction to pain pills and stuff like that began to lose my faith in humankind and 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 just God itself and she kind of helped me come back. She made me feel just more than just death and dying. So. That's nice. Huni. This is Oh, so tragic. <laughs> How I miss all oh, the Lady Galadriel, Professor Galadriel. Her seminar, when she was a visiting scholar at the Nodori Academy of Arcana, was so interesting. She taught me so much about the plants and animals of this human world. Although it smells here, you know, it's fascinating that there are components that still have mana here. And she promised that if I came to her world, that she would mentor me. And I don't know what to do now. Um, it's such a loss. I was so looking forward to, to being able to study with her again and to develop my skill. She was just so knowledgeable about all the, the plants and animals of your world here. This is such a tragedy. I. I think we must find what is causing this terrible disease that took her life. And, oh, who are those things behind us now? Uh, okay, you recognize the, <laughs> the, the the amulets they wear. Uh, they are Night's Watch Special Services. Notice I didn't okay. say Night Watch, I said Night's Watch. They are Night's Watch Special Services have teleported in. And well, I can zoom in the map so I can see it. Mm. 
Okay. They pop up suddenly. Whoa. Uh, okay, I attach a mouse to it. So how do I zoom in with the mouse? The the uh, the wheel. Little, yeah, you scroll the wheel up and down. Okay, got it. All right. You want as... to give me a captain name? You just said Kiki familiar. I'm sorry. What? Her her cat has no name. It says Kitty Familiar. I don't know its name, so I couldn't okay. do anything about that. Lorraine, I don't know. Maybe you can name your cat. Uh, Michael, if you need to, you can name your spider. I have a name for my spider, but you know, spider just kind of like. Spider? So. Oh, that's a spider. Spidey. Okay. Well, that's a good name. Spidey. No, no, I'm not calling him Spidey. It's see the spider. <laughs> All right. Spidey okay. doesn't run around. It's, it's tranchy. Like tarantula. Okay, you can change it. Can you click on it? Click on the icon. And you see the thing that says label? I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I saw it. Okay. okay. Lorraine, you can do that for your kitty familiar as well. Okay. All right. Um, Four figures have teleported in, and really? one of them steps forward. Nancy and you, Ravenswood. Nancy Ravenswood, you recognize her. You recognize two of these figures. You recognize Nancy Ravenswood, who is a sun elf from the Night's Watch Special Services. And she is, uh, at the Academy, she was legendary. There are still records for performance and skills that she holds. The other, Sally Silkwood, is the youngest person ever from your Academy to become a member of the table round. Uh, she is also the last person to have that honor. Not since she accomplished that 15 years ago have any new cadets made it all the way up to table round. Gunny is running away. I don't know why. <laughs> it's by accident, sorry. Yeah, I do that a lot. And Nancy, the silk sun elf, speaks. I'm very sorry to interrupt the solemn services. Gaga was a friend. But she died of a wasting disease. And the curse continues unabated. Too many have been lost and too many are in danger. And Sally Silkwood comes up and she says, yes, so many of us have become afflicted and our dear, our dear friend died too quickly. And unfortunately, some of us may be joining her soon. There is no cure. No cleric, no paladin, not even a special song from the bards have done anything to help. Obviously, medical science can do nothing, but neither can magic or divine work. But we have some things we do know, and that is the disease devours the soul. We all cared for Galadriel very much, but she is no more. In this box is her body. There is no soul to save. My dear friend returned from death at least twice before. Some say perhaps more. 
but nothing can save her now, for her soul has been devoured by some evil magics. Something out there is powering this great plague and devouring the souls of the victims for some horrid, obviously necrotic purpose. But we have a plan. We will do something about it. You must help us. Ooh. Well, we can ask you or we can order you, but I'm pretty much going to err on the side of Nightwatch. I know you are here to visit your friend and celebrate. Obviously that's over and you would like time to grieve. I would like you to grieve in a very special way. You're going to join us in a mission. In this area, there is a lich. Valerie Vale is her name. She's lived in the area of the untamed outreach for years. Most who live here leave her alone and she tends to leave others alone. But a lich has knowledge, information about this necromantic magic which seems to be powering this curse. Our group of special services trained in terrible, terrible magics. We are going to attack Valerie Vale's stronghold beneath her ruined castle. There's an old tower that years ago fell to disuse and she has moved into the, the dungeons below, the very cellars beneath the tower. Somewhere in there, she has a phylactery, that is an object special to her that contains her soul. Liches often do this. They put their soul in something else for safekeeping so that if you kill them, they don't die because their soul is safe and they reanimate. We have talked to her and she will not help us. So our group of Night's Watch warriors are going to attack her head on. She is very powerful. There's not really much you could do being as you're, well, you're obviously promising. Galadriel thought much of you. So we believe you can serve a special task. We will attack head on and draw her attention. And we ask that you, I'm sorry, I use words so carelessly. We order you to slip into the dungeons beneath her castle, her ruined tower her home, her stronghold, her nasty, nasty place. And while she is distracted with our full on frontal attack, we would like you to find that phylactery. You must work quickly. There is a time limit here. If you don't make it quickly, we could lose the advantage and she could find you. And of course, you know that a fully developed lich like her, Valerie Vale, would end you quickly. So please, work quickly. Kalbrax knows the entrance. 
Kalbrax will bring you to the place. We attack in five minutes. Be ready. What? Or you don't have to travel be over dead. Kalbrax will bring you. He knows what to do. Good day. And one by one, they all disappear. Okay, they teleport. <laughs> and Kalbrax. They have a task, Kalbrax. Take us to where we need to go. As Wait. You wish. Hold it, hold it. I want to open the coffin. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, and, and then I'll call upon my God for discernment to see if there's anything we might be able to learn about this horrible affliction. Okay, as well, you open the closet, as you open the coffin and began your prayer, oh fuck, you, uh, you roll a dice, no, no. yeah, roll a dice, please roll a dice. Okay, what am I, what, which one am I rolling? 20-sided die. Oh, make sure yeah. that you have shared your dice rolls. It's the level okay, how do I do that? The, 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 the earth symbol on the very bottom. The, the, the symbol with the, the, the glow. slash through it? The yes. glow. Oh, is yours has a slash? Well, it doesn't now. It's got a glow. Yeah, it's, okay. It's you rolled a 13. You rolled a 13. Okay. Your discernment roll is a 13. Do you have any pluses? For what? For what? Perception roll. So based on wisdom, what's your pluses with your wisdom? I'm going to be nice. My, my, my wisdom plus is a 4. So that would be 17. Oh, wait. What, um, Michael, I'm sorry, what? Oh, he's got skills column on his character sheet, yes. Yes. His volume's really low. Where, where's, where's my skills column? That's next to the ability. Got it. Okay, so what, I'm, I'm with you. So what am I, perception, Brian? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm a plus six on perception. So 13 plus six is 19. Yes. Okay. And as you now form here in this new area your perception tells you yes she's there she's dead and your perception tells you something um, her spirit seems to be gone there usually when uh, when someone with a soul dies there's a lingering residue there is none. Okay. This, this body, as far as you could tell, had no soul. Okay. And Kalbrox has teleported you here. He said, hi, bye, uh, Trial Thamadorian greeting, hello, goodbye, and he's gone. Uh, there is a door here, but it really doesn't look like this. It's just I had to put these doors so you know where there are entrances. This is a... All, all, all I have is... I'm, I, okay, I see. All right. I just... I was uh, in... You were in the, the, the funeral in the area. Fort, just all black. So you're going to want to so, zoom okay. out and find the place with the light. Yes, I'm with you. Yes. Okay, in the upper left, there is a very tiny box. You click on that, and that opens up the tray. And I need to turn. Next to party, on the right of the word party. Now, I would leave that open. Please make sure that your, uh, your dice rolls are shared. Volume's so low on this. Yeah, yeah, Michael, we're having a hard time hearing you. All right, sorry. I, I will adjust my... You can adjust a person's mic by right-clicking on their image on the webcam, yeah. 
and change volume. But he turned his down, obviously. Yeah, Michael's uh, volume is down. Now it's still really low. I've got you all the way up. Yeah, it's very low. How about now? It's still yeah. low. Mm. Oh, wow. You guys are so loud. You should be able to change individuals. And so if you change, if someone's too loud for you, you can turn them down on their screen. But How about right now? No, you're not changing anything. Say something. I'm messing with my voice settings. There, higher. Oh, like better. Yeah. yeah, a little. Yeah, higher. that's way too low. Now, is it better or not? It is improving. Yeah. Yeah. You need to turn it up. How about now? Perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, I can hear. Perfect. Thank right, you. Can you guys each say something to see if it's just blowing my ears out or not. But if oh, it I'm is, sorry. you can. I'm blowing your ears out. No, it's I fine for you guys. Know. I guess Are it's okay. Good? Yeah. Yeah. One. Am I good? He seems to be fine. Okay. All right. There is an entrance in front of you. You are on the clock. If you're slow okay. enough, the lich will show up and she will crush your skulls to butter. Okay. Okay, okay let's get a marching order. Let's get the rogue in front. Okay. I will be second. <laughs> now you guys know obviously you know how to move your your tokens you just click on it and drag if you have a familiar you're responsible for moving it yourself is that really the marching order is that where you want to be Kay? Uh, don't move the <laughs> the cat needs to be with the she wizard she can sing to the door yeah <laughs> I'm playing with the cat. Okay. <laughs> the cat's running away. Okay, Michael, uh, can I cast the uh, detect magic spell on the door? No, don't cast the detect magic spell on the door, please. You only have two spells for the whole adventure. Yes. Oh, really? Wait on that. Yeah, you only have... The one doesn't count. Your first yeah, but it takes ten minutes to cast the ritual, and we're on a clock. Even oh, though I'm, yeah, it takes ten, 10 minutes. minutes already passed when she went outside to to yeah. you know, do the bathroom stuff and get a drink. Okay, <laughs> so the door's open. Is the door open? The door is open. Inside, you see I... darkness. No, I will light a torch. Okay, you you're outside of the room with a torch looking into darkness. I will slowly go in. All right. When you like slowly go in, I will check for any traps, even, even though I'm not. OK. It check looks for... like a room. It looks in. like a room. It looks like there are passageways uh, to the right and the left. Where is the right that the building staircase on the left? I'm sorry. Okay, yes, that's a. It's okay. You're it? you're you're we underground. Move according to our speed. They're underground, yeah. but it does seem to be going up. There's a staircase. Oh, I'm sorry, going down. A staircase going down. Deeper yeah, okay. underneath. Like and to the right, yeah. it seems to be more of the same uh, uh, height. Let's go to the staircase. Go down. You Except want... we have to go in the dungeon. All right, hold on, because now it's starting to get tricky for me. Uh, yeah, Lorraine, I think we can just move as we want until we get into combat, and then actual movement matters. Okay. So we don't have to count how many checks we can... Yeah, just like as long as we're exploring, we just kind of move around. Okay, I need you I to need... be in position. 
Any moving downstairs? Okay, I not too quick. The spider disappeared. Okay, I'm, I'm going down the stairs with Gunny. And I'm at the yeah. foot of the stairs. If you're spread out, you die quicker. Okay. Okay. Let me... Just in case we die, can we come back right away? Uh, hold on. I'm waiting for... Is that the twin sister? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I yell. Whoa, who's PT? Edie. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. How did this guy just like like appear right next to me? Oh. They, <laughs> all okay. right, so Sleepy. essentially, Ellie. you uh, you went into the room, and once you got to a certain position, Gunny, um, okay. these skeletons rose from the dirt. Okay. Okay. So as they're rising, can I move away and not just get smashed? No, they have surprise, and their initiative is 17. Please roll a 20-sided die. Everyone? Every, All of us? Everyone. Oh, 120. Okay. Two. Okay, so Gunny has a two. Congratulations. I have eight in. Wow. I have a 10 initiative. So for initiative, you roll the 20-sided die and you add your dex bonus. Okay. What's my dex bonus? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah, so just give me the number. Okay, so. Uh, and Dante, what's yours? If you if you look on the... Um, your character sheet. Your character sheet. So 18. Right at the top under the armor class. So it's kind of like top section a little bit right of center, it says initiative. So that's in the box that's next to current hit points. So my initiative is plus three. So it's like right below armor class. Um, kind of like top center of your, the first okay. page of your character so, sheet will have the initiative bonus. CUNY, what's your, uh, what's your total for your? Four, four initiative. Oh, you got a 10. And, yeah, and plus two initiative. Gunny's got a four. CUNY's got a 10. Luthien, what's yours? 21. Wow. 21. Can, can I be over 20? Yes. Kelso, what's yours? I roll an 18. I have plus, plus 3. Kelso, what's yours? 18. I have plus 3. Uh, it is 17. 15 plus 2. Uh, Dante, what's yours? Uh, 18. Uh, 15 plus 3. She's slow. She's on <coughs> Juni is the slowest. Okay, so let me... Uh, That's her name. Uh, Luthien. So I get to attack first? No, you wait for oh. me to set up my... It means you dodge it. Dodge the... Hey, hey, hey. Uh, no allies. Come in. Come down. Six people, yes. And the thing on this, it's pretty excellent, pretty good. And nothing like we're used to before. Yeah. Do you need the dice um, anymore, Brian? The what? No, I don't need it. Just uh, clear your dice tray, please. Okay. So click on the X's. All right. So you wrote down everything? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And so I have my... This is your combat. So that's the combat order. What am I looking at? This Where's is a combat, combat order. This I is... I have... No, I, I have it. I will keep track. So I okay. built a combat tracker that I'm holding on the web page. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, cool. All right, and so Luthien, you're going to be first. Okay. And so uh, 
tell us what you do. Um, which of the three skeletons do you wish to walk up to and kiss? Uh, or um, whatever. I don't one know. is not too far. Oh, maybe. so you actually do want to kiss one. Oh, interesting. <laughs> As your husband, I don't recommend doing that. Okay, okay. tell me what you're going to do, Luthien. Uh, Patty. I'm going to attack Patty since nobody would be able to get to him. Patty? In Petey? I'm right next to Petey. Oh, Petey. Oh, Petey. Luthien, you should hit the guy who's next to you or the guy who's next to me. Luthien, you're standing yeah. right next to Skelly, but if you want to, like, magic missile Petey, I'm okay with that. Tell me exactly what you want to do because that'll make it funnier. Oh, I can get to him, right? In one move, right? Who? Which one are the you talking body. about? Yeah. Petey? Petey? Yeah. You can hit any of them with your firebolt or... Did do you I want to use spell? okay? Said, do you want to use a spell today. or do you want to do something else? You only have two spells cancer? a day, but the cantrips you can cast at will. You can cast a cantrip as much as you want. Okay. Ah, you can okay. use like so the ray of frost. Fireball, then. 120 feet, that's good. So, do I need to row uh, to attack? Yes. And if you look on your character sheet, there should be like a, a column that says like the firebolt and what the attack bonus on the firebolt is. The firebolt is uh, to hit is plus six. Yeah. So let me see. So uh, um, which is plus six? Damage is one d ten. Okay. Which one to roll to hit? 20 sided die. die. Oh, still the 20 sided, okay. Yes. Yeah. You may or may you not have. All these you may or may not have uh, bonuses to hit. Yes, yeah, so roll the roll the 20, Lorraine. Uh, 14, the fireball. So it's fine. Right? You're not it's showing it? The... 20. You have to show us. Make sure you're. Okay, 14 plus. Uh, okay. Okay, against my armor I class. Have plus three. I have plus three for initiative, but it's this is initiative. No, 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 no. no it's no, the no, attack no, bonus no. on the the attack section. So there should be something that says maybe fireball in the attack section. Plus six. Oh, yeah. Plus six is yes. to hit. Yeah. Yes. So you got twenty. Twenty means a double. No, 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 double no. It's 40. just no. twenty. It's the number you get. You need a nat twenty to get double. No, no, yeah. uh, you did not get a natural 20. Okay. And P will tell you if you hit or not. I mean, okay. Brian. So a 20. Will okay. hit. Would definitely hit, hit a skeleton. Yes. Which it, skeleton did you attack, Skelly? Or Deluthian? Did you hit Skelly? It's a, it's a distant weapon. Okay, so uh, you hit Petey. Petey. You hit yeah. Petey. Yeah. Okay, and how much damage did you do to poor Petey? Uh, oh, 1d10. Uh, 1d10, right? Yes, that's what you said. Okay, let me close this and do a d10. Come on, oh, 10! Wow. I so you're... it! 10! Oh, awesome! Is it not showing? The, the dice rolls are not showing I for me? It. Brian can it see is. it, right? I can see yeah, it. I, she I just it. got a 10. It's under her name. It's under her name. Oh, it's under, under my name? I couldn't see it. But you guys can see it. No, you, under you're... Under Yes. Luke. You see it. Oh, yes. oh, okay. I had it like a uh, full screen or something. Yeah. Right, so I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. I didn't see her name anymore. Oh, now I see it. PD dead? PT seems to be not living, but he's a skeleton, so they're not living <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, Petey falls and there's a uh, his chest his ribs are now blown out cool. it's like she nails him right in the chest and the ribs explode they're gone there's a big hole okay. where the bones used to be and he Any collapses left behind? 
<laughs> there's 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 things left behind. Okay, so that was Luthien. And Dante, what do you wish to do? Sing a funeral requiem. <laughs> uh, I don't think they can hear me, right? Uh, I'll try to shoot with my crossbow at uh, PT2. PT is on the ground. PT is dead. PT is dead. Shoot the guy on me. She but, can shoot people who are lying dead on the ground. <laughs> That's okay, her right. Down. Help me. Okay, bounce. I'm uh, surrounded. Two more, you can shoot. So you're shoot gonna the guy behind me. You're gonna shoot Huni to save her. Oh, I'm shooting at Bones, right? It's like. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bones. Bones. Okay. Uh. What's the name? Lorraine, of could you clear your dice tray so okay. we don't have the number there anymore? Okay. okay. Oh, 1D, 1D20. Oh, I need to roll 120. So you have an attack plus any modifiers. So roll a D20 plus your attack bonus with a crossbow. Or <laughs> negative with the crossbow. No. So you I'm roll the sure. 5. Do you have any pluses? So which one is for the crossbow? The so is there a section with the uh, attacks? Like kind of at the bottom of the first page, does it say crossbow? And it says like um, to hit. Okay. All right, uh, Kay, what's your dex? What's your dexterity? Dexterity is three, plus three. All right, so then your attack bonus will be plus five. Plus five, okay. So you just your roll is five, plus five more is ten. Uh, I think you miss. Oh. Ah, oh, skeleton. You think she missed, but actually, she missed a lot. <laughs> uh, oh. uh. Okay. All right. So that was Andante. Okay, Bill. Wild Bill. Uh, well, attack the um skeleton closest to Huni with my mace. All right. Okay. Is that Bones or Skelly? <laughs> um, oh, they're both on top of them? The one uh, is in front, one is behind me. Who's Cuny standing between them? Uh, I, I if will you want one behind you. Okay, then you All need right, so to move. You can move that far and attack. All right, so, so there's another rule here that if you move past some enemy, they get to smack you as you run by. Yes, oh, we will well. follow that rule, but he can still go to Bones. Sorry? Well, I didn't hear what you said, Brian. I, uh, yes, we will do that, but he can, he can still go to Bones. Yeah, and so you can move away and avoid the Skelly. Or if you just run just straight past like Skelly, that. then Skelly will he snap just runs you if you straight run past That's Skelly and goes there. It's okay. I don't mind. Okay. Well, My, okay, so Kevin. I, will, I need you to I move will, your. Yeah. What? Well, hang on. So if I, if I dexterously move, um, knowing that Skelly is there, to get to Bones and avoid Skelly, I can do that. You can All attempt, right. but I don't think you can do it because to avoid Skelly, I mean. You're standing right beside Skelly. And to oh, okay. avoid well, him... Hey, see, I understand this now. To avoid I'm, him, you, you would have to move into Andante. I see yeah. this... Okay, my screen was so small, I just blew it up, and now I yeah. see what's happening. It yeah. makes more sense for me to attack Skelly the way I'm positioned, and that's yes. what I... Yes, because if you leave, Scully will smack you. That's called an attack of opportunity. Yeah. You can do so, something yeah. called a disengage to get away from Skelly, but that takes your action, and then you can't attack. I, so I, I would just stay there and smack Skelly. But I, I would smack much smack rather prefer Skelly. that he attack Bones so I can hit him. Well, I, I, I would like to okay. attack Skelly, please. With a mace. 
with a mace that does a bludgeoning attack. Which I, oh, is yeah, I do know what that does. Energy. I'm well f familiar with that. Roll your dice. Which di which die which die am I rolling? That would be a d twenty to hit. I rolled a nineteen. Ooh. Yeah. And I have Fuck. a um. What do you, I need a a I have a plus three to attack with my mace. Okay. No, you have a plus one because it's a strength weapon. Oh well, it says to hit plus three on my. Oh on yeah, my yeah. Plus three. He's got proficiency. Plus three to attack. My proficiency is two. And my and my proficiency is two. Yeah. Yeah. So it's plus one strength plus two proficiency. So it's plus three. So basically, total be you got twenty two. You could hit armor class twenty two, but you don't need Perfect. such a high number. Ah, okay. ah, Skelly is special. Roll your damage. Ed. Uh, you need um, to yeah, yeah. clear your dice my, tray. Yes, my and damage according to this is a d six plus one. Yes. So my damage is a four. Oh, oh, really? Oh, good. Perfect. Yeah, so he's not dead. Okay. Uh, da -ba -da, where's Skelly? Skelly! Okay. And uh, that would be my turn! Yay! Skelly! Can we see how you roll? I'm sorry? Can we see how you roll? Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I'm sharing. But DMs don't have to share their rules. But oh. Skelly is going to beat the shit out of... Oh, shoot. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. He's going to use his short sword. And he's going to nail Wild Bill who has aggravated him. And that would be I 20. I believe uh, that's a double damage 20. Yeah. We're, yes. we're, for criticals, we're doing double damage and ones you hit yourself um, because it's just easy and I think it's funny. Okay. It is. And so we're going to go just... with his damage. This uh, role is suspect uh, since we didn't get to see it. Yeah. It's not. It was 20. No, no, we saw a 20. I saw the 20. It's what not in the dice anything? tray, Kevin. It's under the, the my name, DM. I see. I see. On the sidebar. The, so the let me roll my sidebar. damage. No, I, I just, I, I was being a, a, a brat. So 11. what do you need for me? Uh, 11. Okay, I saw it. That's damage? No, I'm just <laughs> fucking with him. Uh, I'll roll the damage, because that's funny. Okay, here's my damage. Uh, that would be five. Booyah! Okay, so I am now at four. There you go. Yes. See, no problem. So four two? damage. And, of course, Bones has not been hurt. And Bones can go for Gunny, who is armored. Or he can fuck Huni up. Bones is a sexist, so he's going to fuck up Puny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Uh, what's your armor class? Let me check. 16. He missed. God Ooh. damn it. And that would be all the, the good guys. So it is now Huny's turn. So Bones was like waving above your head. He completely and totally missed you. So you can ignore him and hit Gunny. I'm gonna hit um, the guy with the chill touch. Uh, I'm gonna hit Bones with the chill touch. Ooh. So I've got a say. There's a saving throw to them, right? Oh, you have no, to hit. It's, it's you an have attack to hit. roll. You have to attack roll. And. Chill touch is um, plus six, so that's 16. Okay, 16. My AC and is 20. No. Yeah, you hit. What's the damage? Does he get a saving throw against the effect? No, he doesn't. 
Uh, that's why you know if you do attack, you don't get the save. Also, what's the what's yeah, the effect? Kind of like ridiculous. What's the effect? All right, so this spectral hand comes out of my hand. I point it at at bones, and the hand like latches onto his chest and starts sucking the life out of him. So he takes five points of damage, and he has five points of necrotic damage. So I don't know if skeletons are resistant to necrotic damage. Um, no, they're not. They should be, and but they're not. Undead have disadvantage on their next attack on me. Okay, so this is Bones. Yeah, so Bones has disadvantage on the next attack. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I'm okay, no. This is gone. No, oh, I'm just liberty. Oh, God. Okay. And Gunny, your turn. I will attack Bones. Of course, I will attack with my Okay, long please sword. move a little closer so that we oh, know you're I'm, there. It's okay, it's I'll not going to count long, against you. I'll use my long sword. Okay, but I get a plus five. I need him 19, 24. I'm, wow. I have no doubt I hit him. It's going to be yeah. a long sword, so it'll be slashing. Okay. And I do 1d8 plus 3. Let's figure it. Okay, uh, cl yeah. Oh, crap. Four points of damage. <clears throat> okay. This is going to have to kill it, maybe. No. 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 That's a so four. it's between four to ten. <laughs> okay. To cue it. That was a pretty good run. I thought okay. I got one. Uh, Luthien, your turn. Can I use the fireball again? You can use the fireball as much as you want. Ah, that little spell great. never runs out. When, when you say firebolt, you guys. Uh, please uh. make sure you say bolt. It's firebolt, right? Oh, yes. It's not yes. I keep hearing fireball, wow. and I just get so excited. So fireball, fireball, yes. No, fire bolt. Yeah. It's like a flaming arrow from your finger. It's a target. It is a target. It's not an area attack. Okay, so who are you attacking? You're attacking uh, Wild Bill or Andante? Not Wild Bill. I think he's hurt, right? Oh. What's the one that's closer to me? Which one? I, Scally? Yeah, just hit Skelly. Yeah. Skelly's half dead, anyways. Uh, uh, how many points he got left? You don't, don't know. know. Just, just attack him. Okay, I'm going to attack him then. The uh, D20. Yes. Huh? Yeah. 19 plus 3. 22. Good job. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Okay. Wow. D damage. On D10. Yeah, on D10. Okay, clear it. I'm oh, sorry, I have to clear it first. Yes. <laughs> okay, neat. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'll let it re-roll. Oh, okay. five. Yes, five that's five. much better. Okay, what's the what's your total damage? Five? Five? And this yeah, is there's no bonus damage. for the fireball. Kelly is, okay. He's still alive. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. Alright, and no Andante. Andante. No, there's no fire, no, there's no, no plus. Yeah, but it's good. Uh, you could aim at Skelly and hit Wild Bill in the back of the head. That would be cool. Oh, no. Why? Let's uh, use your saw then. Oh, yeah, um, or as Andante, you can take like a step to the side. You can move and then shoot at Skelly, or this move is, and shoot at. This at, is like playing really slow uh, Demio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Dante. So maybe you want to move so that Wild Bill is not in your your path of fire. Or she could if you shoot, want to shoot at uh, Bones Skelly. and hit uh, Gunny. I'm okay with that too. Hey. Yeah. Uh, try. Which one's closer to death? Is it Skelly? They're both they're both hurt. So anyways, just just don't really think Super. about that. But just think you're in battle and you just want to kill one. Okay. I think they're both almost dead, so it doesn't really matter who you attack. I would yeah. attack Skelly because the other guy's disadvantaged on this next attack anyways. 
Oh, Jesus. To kill Scully. I've been watching the webcams and I, for the longest time I thought, well, oh, Kevin's screen froze. And then I noticed I was watching. his eyes were blinking. It's like he was a... I'm in. So I want to take a step <laughs> and shoot at Skelly then. Okay. Yeah, so roll your two hit. You have my so, permission so, to so Can you move in Dante? Yeah, now... Not all the no, way. No, no, don't move closer. If you move too close, then you, you know, you're just asking for trouble. So you're just like... It, like over here? Move my, like over here. My yeah, daughter yeah, is the yeah. sort of person who Scratch. asks And now shoot trouble. Skelly. So... Okay, so Roll the 20 side and die. 20... You have my permission nah. to miss? Oh, that sounded uh, good. Yeah! Yes! Ah, but you could have hit. What's your pluses? 12. Should be. Yeah. So 12. Hey! That's awesome! She missed. Hey! Wild Bill. I will attack Gelly with my mace again. Ah! I keep missing. Missing is okay. Roll a one. I would roll a one. <laughs> with a three next to it. <laughs> and um, roll. plus three to hit, so is that 16? Yes. 16. Roll your damage, you horrible man that no one loves. Yes. I think it only takes like one more point of damage. Uh, I think you're wrong. So it's uh, and damage is d6 plus one, so three. <laughs> three. This is oh, this dead. is oh, this is Skelly. Three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's still up. All right, so I think that they're resistant to anything except for bludgeoning damage. So he like, just did still, bludgeoning no, damage. Actually, the mace does bludgeoning still. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he he's doing bludgeoning. Yeah, yeah. So, was it not dead? I thought that he hit it twice, and and Luthien hit it too. Yeah, amazing. Maybe okay. Anyways, you shouldn't worry about things that you shouldn't be worried is it, about. Is it ten pawn yet? Because I did. All right. Anyways. Pawn, right? Oh, it's yeah, my turn. I mean, yeah. Sometimes they're stronger. Maybe this is like a boss skeleton. So don't worry about like. The, the damage yeah, we just like him. all right so, it's so their turn now skelly is going to go ahead and hit wild bill because wild bill's been whacking on him and he's going to do a wonderful thing called double damage booyah <laughs> nope didn't do it uh 14. what's your ac sir 18. i got 18. awesome and my damage for you this is for 18. you special. Yes. All right, this is not a normal skeleton. This is a boss skeleton. Plus order. four. Damn. Okay, so what was your total damage on me? For plus that? fucking four, right there. Four? four? Okay, well then I'm at zero hit points. Oh uh, no, I haven't rolled. No, 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 no. I, I have to roll. I'm only gonna roll a one, a d6. Seven. Well, seven is bigger than four. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Bill what has happened? Okay, go to sleep. Oh. Time to sleep. Okay. So, are uh, you're, are you at zero? I'm at zero. Okay, at zero. Uh, your next turn, you get a saving throw versus death. Okay. Okay. You get three tries. No, you you get you can die if you fail three times, you die. Yes. If you if you succeed three times, you're alive. So you know you get up to six rolls. Yes, I'm with I'm you. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna hit the. Um, Hold it, it's while doing. Bones. 
Oh no, Skelly's Skelly did his. Bones hasn't done his attack yet. Oh, Bones that's is, right. Bones is gonna kick Gunny. Cool. Booyah! Ah! Fourteen. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Bad morning. Uh, five. Okay. What's your AC, thing? Gunny? Okay, seventeen. 20. What's your AC? I didn't hear. What's your 20. armor class? Twenty. Twenty. Really? <laughs> Seriously, you have a twenty. God damn it. Okay, I miss. Yeah, I'm man. so sad. Funy, do something right. horrible. I'm gonna um, chill touch bones. Yeah, that's horrible. Ooh, fuck. Oh, fuck. All right. Um. Damn, I should have hit Scully with this. Okay, what's your damage? Is that a one? That it is, is indeed a one. And there's no pluses? So No, there are no pluses. I did two points of damage. Two? Ooh. I did I rolled two ones on two eight sided dice. Wow. This is double damage. Wow, yeah. that's bad. But you got uh, double damage, right? Yeah, I did. It's double damage. Hold it. So That's four. double damage. So four. No, roll two ones. No, no. You roll two dice. Double damage roll is not you double it. You roll two oh, dice. No, 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 no. And so Just I rolled two math. ones. Okay, fine. Yes. And so I did two points of damage total on bones. Is bones so still alive? Oh, God, yes. He has cool. less damage than Skelly. Yeah. And so, Gunny, do something manly. I will attack Boney. Boney, okay. Roll. I got uh, 24. God, okay. Yeah. Roll your damn damage. <laughs> Silly man. Uh, 1d10, right? D8. 1d8 with a long sword. That's three. Six points of damage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. the sword just cuts right from his shoulder to his groin. Awesome. You split the bones, they're on the ground. Uh, and that gives us Luthien. Okay, I'll keep attacking Skelly then. Okay. Uh, 20. Let me scroll. But. Oh, I mean 16. That's 19 total. No, no, uh, it's 13 plus 3, right? Plus 6. Why is it plus 6? Because you got intelligence is plus 4 and then proficiency bonus is plus 2, so it's plus 6 total. Oh, then I, I didn't do that before. I thought it was plus 3. You can look on your chart. It should say Firebolt and then say plus oh, 6. Oh, yeah, total. yeah, Firebolt. Plus All right, so now roll your damage. Okay. So that's 19. They Clear. Hit, you hit yeah. armor class 19. 10 sided die. Uh, four points. No pluses. Okay. Just four no points. No pluses. Oh, okay. And this was, this was attacking uh, Skelly. Skelly. Okay. And he drops. Oh. Oh. If can I go lay hands on Wild Bill? Would that prevent him from getting doing the uh, rolls saving throws? Depends yeah. where. Yeah. You, depends where. <laughs> what part of his body are you gonna lay your hands? <laughs> where yeah, the no, wound yeah. is. <laughs> right Where's my wound? <laughs> In the groin. No, I, I just I, like saying no. Nah, you just you get it, you get you took it in the chest because that was a big hit and you dropped pretty quick. So, in the chest. Yeah, just give him one point of damage. Damn. Okay. 
Yes! One point of damage. One point of damage, yeah. Not damage, no. thank you. <laughs> one point. Yeah, I heal him one point. <laughs> Give him one hit point back. Get him up on his feet. Yeah. And he's a cleric. He could heal himself, right? <laughs> That's a good question. I mean, we only have five minutes. Um, okay, well, so... I have a healing word that can try to use it. He's already healed, so... He's, he's at one. You don't need to... But he can... Yeah. He'll, if he gets hit again, he's going to drop again. Yeah. Yeah. Can you give But him then you can point? heal him up again the next time. You know, the like healing word... Uh, actually, we're like first level. I have a healing potion. Oh, to you. That would help. I'll give him a healing potion. Oh, is it not a backpack? <laughs> no, you have backpack. to have bought it. Did you buy one? I actually bought... Let me see, how many did I buy? I bought two of them. I got one, one for myself. I gave him one healing potion. Uh, you need to roll... All right, all right. But Gunny, if you're going to give him a healing potion, don't use your paladin skill to heal him. That's redundant. I thought give him a potion. To drink it. <laughs> just pour it down his throat. Okay. You can just pour it down. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you do it. Healing potion. Pour down his throat. Okay. You need to roll how many points he gets. I do not know. It's like two die four plus two. Yeah. So roll. Die four plus two. Roll. Yeah. Two d four. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Uh, I got it back. Okay. Uh, 2d4s? Yeah. Five plus, what you said, plus two? Yeah, 2d4 seven plus points. two. Yeah, yeah that's seven good. points back. Nice. Thanks. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's you good. Failed. That was pretty effective. And I'm down to one. Okay, one so you've got... Um, where you have it, if to you go down, I'll make sure to use it on you. Yeah. To the left, there right, is. Yeah. To the left, there is a passageway, like a tunnel. Um. Uh. So behind, where um, Petey was, uh, to the right, you can go back the way you came. I mean, it's it circles back. Or you can go up another tunnel also to the left. And then straight away, straight away there's something. I need to know where to open it up. So let's go this way? Uh, I don't see... Go where. left. Go left. Yeah. Go the way, where Gunny. the rocks are. It goes I AC people go in front. Which one does seem to be going down? The that would be like where down. you're headed. Where you're headed. Okay, let's go down the, uh, continue to go down the tunnel and see where it takes us. Okay. Gunny, oh. you want to lead the way? Yeah, I didn't see that. I had to move my thing. I am leading the way. I, I think I have dark vision, right? Yeah, only I mean, Gunny I'm doesn't have dark vision, so Gunny needs a, a torch. Maybe don't go in that room so it. quickly. <laughs> see purple stuff. They're glowing yeah. crystals. Glowing purple crystals. Oh, is that something bad? Can we go around it? Yeah. Right through that, that glowing it. purple patch. Can, 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 can we, we, um, can we go can around I do an there, arcana right? test roll? Do a see if I Do an arcana roll to see if I can identify oh. if this is some kind of magical effect. Sure. What's your role? Uh, it's rare, so your difficulty is going to be um, hard. I got 11. 11. Okay, you know it's magical, but you don't know what kind of magic. Mm. I will still hold my breath and go around it. <laughs> oh, okay. Smoke. 
No, it's a uh, purple glow. You're, you're, you're in the purple glow. Um, I want to make sure where people are. Um, before we go down, I'm going to pick up some shards of skeleton bone. The okay, I'm good with that. Uh, <laughs> okay, the crystals are glowing, yeah. and a few of them are pulsing. I'm not here to look at crystals. So I continue on down the uh, down the path. Okay, hold on. We're in a hurry. I want to see. Uh, okay, I'm not going to open the lights until. Everyone else has gone through. I, I need to see the order. Uh, I'll go next. You physically have to move. I did. Okay, now you did. Did I? Yeah. That's a delay. There was a slight yeah. delay. After a while, Bill. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Luthien, you have a cat. Crowded. Um, Andante, Huni, Huni, and Kitty. Saving throws. What's the Kitty saving throw? He's on your character sheet. Let me see. Okay. Andante, guess, roll a 20. What kind Huni. of save is it? Uh, it is. I got a 6 on the die. It's a save versus magic. I mean, is it a targeting wisdom or intelligence or con? Con. If it's like poison, it's often con. It's, if it's like it a would mental be more effect, about it's con. often a wisdom No, state. it's not mental. It's, it's more about con. On Dante, what'd you roll? Or else if it's like something I can dodge, it'll be a deck save. Oh, we can roll stuff now. Uh, yeah, a 20. 20? Yeah, you're doing a saving throw. So I got a 7 oh. if it's con save. Oh, well, she saved. All right, Kitty. Uh, okay, if you, if Luthien, if you don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and roll for Kitty. Uh, Kitty got a one. Yes. Oh, more Yay. Oh no. Uh, my wisdom is plus one. No. So okay. Yeah, but she says oh, I'm sorry. Kitty got a one. And Kitty, Kitty. Where Where's the saving throw thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of saving pros here uh, is eh? Eh. so which kind of saving pros are we? She said there was a constitution save. Oh, uh, that's no good. <laughs> constitution is zero. Really? What's your con? What's your con, Ken? Yeah, it'd be zero. Mm -hmm. That's oh, okay. Hey, Luthien. Where's Kitty? It's quite Kitty died, I think. No. Disappear. If Kitty uh, died, Luthien would have felt it. So, so Kitty you disappeared. Feel, you feel she's alive, but she's not with you. So I failed to save also. Did I have to make the save or not? Uh, you, you were lucky oh. because Kitty failed worse than you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oops. Hey. What's that? Whoa, whoa. I'm going after the cat. <laughs> where? Know where? Where? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, he's going in there. Okay. No, it already. I'm going after the cat. This just isn't right. <laughs> I should be going before you. 
All right, Kelso, roll your saving throw. <laughs> what is my saving? What, is, what do I roll? 20-sided die plus any constitution bonus. My uh, constitution bonus is one. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my God. That, my friend. I'm a two. That, my friends, is a critical failure. And nothing happens. Trap's already gone. Trap's... Nice. Trap just takes ah. one. Okay, so which really a, sucks. I love trap, like a one-time thing. Yeah. Well, the, I, I I I put my faith in God, and and it and it worked out. Oh. Okay. Can you take up the crystal and find out what they do. Like, yeah, I want to collect some of the crystals. All right, who's taking your crystal? I am. I'm gonna take some. The wizards. Table. <laughs> okay. I am exploring ahead. Why they do that? Yeah, I went back with Gunny. I, I still have a lot of allowance in my backpack. Okay. All right. So there's a room, and a okay. room. Um, I will. Okay. Uh, I need to mark. Who's got crystals? Shuni? I have. Shuni. I'm picking twenty pounds of crystal. You wow. want to carry that? Okay. A lot of crystal. She's gonna carry <laughs> ten kilos. Okay. You you wrote down here. I only I'm carrying forty three point two pounds, but <laughs> I'm allowed to carry a hundred and twenty pounds. Yes, but if you carry a hundred and twenty pounds, it's really hard to move. Yeah. Then that's like your max. Okay. All right. So I see we got a bunch of people up here. Getting Did I miss closer something? To, are you going when to the door? No. Nope. Okay. So we've got the door, or we've got a passage to one side, and then a passage that doubles us back around. And which way do we want to go? I say we go to the door. Yeah, that's obvious. Is there something glowing in front of that door? What's that green thing? The glyph or something. It looks like some sort of weird thing, yeah. I, I don't know. It is something. It's a large stone uh, door. It seems to have an image on it. Um, there's like a, two kraken. There's, the door has an image of two Kraken pulling apart a ship. And there does seem to be a glyph of some sort. But you would have to can check. I, can I use, can I use like my um, perception to figure out what that might be? Okay, that would be an intelligence check. Roll a 20-sided die. Perception is, is not an intelligence check. That's a skill. No, I, skill he's roll. doing investigation. Investigation. Yeah. Okay, so I rolled a one again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but my but I've got my uh, if I'm going to use the perception, I've got a plus six. So I guess it's a seven. Okay. So it's very clear to you, and I need to move you because you're right there. It's very clear to you, this seems to be a trap, and yeah. you understand inherently uh, that the best way to undo it is to lick it. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, someone can throw a bone inside. <laughs> no, it's a door, the door is closed. So if you want yeah. to There's disable it, if you There's want to disable it, you would lick it. They're like tentacles. Okay, think Japanese hentai. Yeah, so two I'm, giant I'm monsters powerful. with tentacles that are pulling a ship apart. Now, uh, I apologize to uh, the player Kevin 
for telling him what his character now understands and the group could hear me but i should have said that privately but uh i didn't know you could i didn't know you could so i will tell the group that this is a trap but if someone licks it the trap will be will be uh um uh, we will thwart the trap. We will be able to get around it. Is that what I understand, Brian? That is indeed what you understand with your <sighs> rolling one. I'm not going like <laughs> I think I'm going to have to throw a bone in it. The door is Back shut. Away. You can't throw Back a bone away. inside. You could throw a bone at the door. I thought the glyph was on the floor. It's a glyph on the floor or the glyph yeah. is on the floor? Okay, there's a glyph on the floor and then the, the glyph uh, writing, it kind of starts on the floor and goes up on the door. Am I able to read it? Uh, are you, you a it? magic user? Well, I mean, kind of. Clarence, I mean, you're not to... wizards. You Clarence. Clarence. I know I know five different languages. Well, there you go. Uh, what are the five languages you know? Uh, common, Elvish, Sylvan, Undercommon, and Deep Speech. Ooh, Undercommon. Yeah, it's none of those. Okay. <laughs> How about I can try to read it? Okay. Okay. You would have to oh. roll a, a, an arcana test. Uh, you need a successful which, arcana which, roll. Arcana roll. Uh, arcana roll is where, Michael? <laughs> it's on the skill sheet. Uh -huh. So if you look at your sheet and you see where um, your, your constitution is on the side, on the left side, uh -huh. so right to the right of that. It's a list of skills underneath animal handling. Ah, it says okay. Arcana. What's your okay. bonus? It's intelligence plus six. Yes. Oh, that's good. So I roll uh, twenty sided again. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's eight plus six. So that's fourteen. Fourteen total. Okay. Um, your you seem to think there may be something wrong with uh, Wild Bill's theory about how to disable it. You know it can be disabled, but it might not entail simply licking. licking. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going to take um, a rope out. And I have a pair of manacles in my backpack, and I'm going to tie the rope to the manacles and swing it around and hit the door with the manacles. And can I move away before you do that? Yeah, yeah, move, move no, away before you do that. But before I do that, I'm going to try to read the door. I know Draconic and Dwarvish also. Oh, yeah, those don't work either. Um, okay. Yeah, but, I that too. Okay, Wild Bill, if you move away, who's going to lick it when he does this? So I'm going to... Uh, well, you, you let me, let me also do an Arcana roll, too. Okay, roll. You know you're going to miss. Yeah, I, I did worse than... than Jesus! Uh, Luthien did, so forget that. And I'm just going to smack it with the, the manacles on the rope. And see what happens. Okay, what are you aiming at? I'm aiming at the glyph part, and I'm, like the rope is twenty feet long, so. Okay, you know. and the, the okay, so where you're standing. Okay. I'm going to be like twenty feet away. So okay, maybe, like, I need you to roll here. the hit. Roll the hit. This is about no here. Roll a twenty sided die. Okay, that's going to be harder to hit, dude, because Luthien's in the way. All right, then just over here. So nine plus, I don't know, swinging something is like dex? Well, let's just say AC would be like a 
five. Okay. Yeah, I'm just like swinging it at the at a patch on the door, so it's not trying yeah. to break the door. The athletic. So I don't know. AC um, five. I just like swing it at it. So you hit it. Okay, yeah. these are metal. These are metal. Yeah. Tied to a, a hemp rope. Mm. Okay, let's go with. Uh, All right, I'm going to give you a 50% chance of scratching it, of, of, of doing damage to the carving. Uh, let's say roll percentile dies, 50 or higher, or 51 or higher is what you want. No, I missed it. Jesus! What in time? Oh, dude, you are cursed. You are so cursed. Okay, all right. There's a spark when it hits, and the glowing glyph on the floor fades. Huh? It fades. Okay. It's no longer glowing. Lick. Before you could lick it, the glyph on the floor flades. Um, fades. How about the glyph on the door? You said it went up onto the door. Yeah, well, that's still, there's a slight glow there. But the one on the floor, I mean, the part on the floor is no longer glowing. Okay, let me, like, toss the thing again and smack the door where it's glowing. Okay. And here, I, I nail it, like, right in the center oh, fuck. for the 15. Okay, that's a really good hit. Um... Roll a 31 or higher on a percentage dice. Okay, got 53 here. No problem. Uh, let me real quick just roll that. Let me, let me count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, okay. Let me roll my damage. <laughs> 30. Okay. <laughs> All right. The door of damage. If you are within five squares of the door, you do not. I'm four, so. Okay. Okay, so, so if you're within five squares, uh, Nothing happens because when you scratch the door, there's a slight explosion in the door. No one's standing next to the door, so you don't die. Yay. But I thought it was funny to roll that. Yeah. So the door is gone? Door blew up. Somebody, very, somebody committed vandalism. Cool. Yeah, I guess okay, cool. cool. Oh, yeah. We can go through uh... Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so Gunny, you see that in this hallway there are two doors. Is there a door? So, okay, yeah, I see there's two doors now. Yeah. Uh... The way the map is I think they'd be useless for us to go in them. But anyway, uh, well, I don't, don't care. That, you don't. You're not know. Gonna, no one's gonna open a door. You know you're looking for something, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is true. I'm opening the first, the first door we encounter. I'm going to yes. open it. Oh, you're just gonna open that door? Boom. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me. Uh... Here we go. I found Pete's room. I found Pete's room. So, um, what am I? What am I able to see? Could we Skull move you down right a little here. so that we can see your face? I don't want to open up the lights over there. You see, yeah, uh, blood. You see mess. You see all sorts of crap. I mean, it's 
It's like so, somebody's so, been eating things here. Yes, it, it mm. looks like a place where someone has been eating and another door. Oh! Whoa, oh, there's Doug. Doug. More Doug. Doug. Whoa. Are they both named Doug? No, one is named Doug, one is Dave. Oh, Dave, Dave. <laughs> oh, okay. Dave and Doug. What are Doug and Dave? Well, it doesn't matter, does it? If you've never seen one before, you just know it's Doug and Dave. Well, but so, but maybe I have seen one before. Do I roll for, for, um, initiative? For, like, no, for perception? knowledge, perception, whether or not you paid attention in class. Yes. Well, this would be like a history roll or, uh, um, survival or nature, depending on the kind of monster they are. Or it could be our okay, kind of, well, like some I'll, kind of magical I'll creature. A, I'll, I'll do a survival roll. Okay. What do I need to roll? Just roll a 20-sided die and add your survival bonus. But, you know, you kind of want to just look at your skills and see which one you're, you're best at. Okay, so, well then, I'm at 16 plus 4, so my survival roll is 20. Ooh, I seem so. to recall... Galadriel teaching us about ghouls. Huh? These are ghouls? Ghouls, I yes. I didn't say that. Kelso did. I said, I think these are ghouls. Can I attack? Ah, you want to attack? Then we need to roll. Okay, so we've got... Three of you are in the... Why is Luthien so fucking big? Let me move her down a little. No, I'm just uh, by the door right here. No, every move. time you touch, you can accidentally enlarge your characters. It's like Wild Bill is huge. I don't know what I need to do to, to there. There. Okay. All righty. Uh, let's roll initiative, please. Um, Doug and Dave, they just roll together because they're they have that kind of relationship, and they have a oh. six. So what am I rolling? What, what die? Okay, so this is for initiatives. So check your character sheet. Remember your plus for initiatives. And tell me. Okay, so. It's a 20. A 15 I got six. for a gunny. gunny. Wait, so I'm rolling a 20-sided die? Yes. Yeah, and then add your initiative, which is basically oh, your dexterity shit. bonus. Okay, so four, four plus two plus is two. six. Two. Kelso is six. Luthien, you're like a ten or something. I'm nine. Nine, okay. Nine, uh, that would be... They're six, so as long as you're faster than they are, so... So I got nine. Yeah. Uh, Dante, what's yours? Oh, wait, I haven't done anything. Uh, a 20 roll? Yes. Yes. D20. Uh, let me see. What? Oh, Plus oh. what? Uh, I, which one? Do you dexterity. Have dexterity dex. bonus? Uh, uh, three. Plus three. Uh, Fifteen. So fifteen. So let me do my numbers. So... Dante. Who's next? Huni, what was yours? I have a six total. Okay. So Luthien. Nine for me. Uh, Gunny is now here. And six. Well, I'm going to give it to you, you guys, so I'll go last. So normally what you do is if there's a tie, you go by dexterity. Yeah, but, but I don't need it. Whoever has a higher dex score goes first. Yeah, it's okay. I, I just put them in this order. Alrighty, so... Gunny, what do you do? I'm gonna run behind. Well, do, do I have time to attack if I run behind Wild Bill to hit Dave? Dave, I'll yeah, I'll let you do it. I'll yeah, let you yeah, you can move thirty feet. Yeah. So you have plenty of, of range to get there and hit Dave. Ah. Put you maybe here so I can see his head. Okay. Roll your twenty. A seven plus one. Yeah, I got it. 
plus 12. It's 12. Oh, 12. Okay. Roll damage. Cool. Genuinely. Um, the 8 plus 2. I got 8. 8 points of damage. And this is against Dave? Yeah. Against Dave. Okay. He's a little bit pissed. Good. I like him being pissed. Okay, while Bill, no, I'm sorry. And Dante, what do you do? Way back here in the back. I'm pretty far away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can move if you want to. You get 30 feet of movement. You can move, you can sing, you can so run you can away. Move before you can any damage. You can open another door. <laughs> I think my, any more of my spell will work on goals, because... It's like psychic damage. Uh, okay, I. Um, they have no brain, I guess not. Yeah. They do. They do. Yeah, yeah. They have some intelligence. If you want to, you can do vicious mockery, which will give them disadvantage on an attack, or else you can just shoot with your crossbow. Yeah, you have a cantrip for mockery. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try vicious mockery. <laughs> okay, you have to actually make an insult. Oh, oh, oh you ugly. You okay. stink. Okay. Um, really? That was make very annoying sound. Okay, which know. which one are you? Who are you mocking? Are this you mocking one? Doug or Dave? Doug uh, or Dave? Let's see. if you both. <laughs> no, no, he can only she can only do one. I'll do Doug then. Okay. Okay, so... So what do you say to Doug? Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> you actually have to say it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, um... I... We, we know if their name is Doug? Yes. Okay. No, you don't know his name. Okay. Uh, oh, Doug. Okay. Uh, you're so ugly. Like... The, I never seen something this ugly before, and then I play an annoying sound. Okay. So ugly that blind kitties run away. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. What's your damage? He he no, blew. He blew Doug a has save. to do a, a wisdom save. He blew it. I already rolled. Okay. He rolled a six. <laughs> he has wisdom. It's a wisdom save against vicious mockery. So Dante, I think it's at one d four plus um, your your charisma bonus. Actually, okay. I'm not sure. One d so the one what uh twenty? No, no, a four-sided die. Oh, four, four, four. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so four. It's a two, and plus plus your charisma modifier. Okay, I think it's plus charisma modifier. Uh, it's sure. 1d4 plus... Yeah, plus 4. Uh, Is it? Yeah, it's 1d4. Plus, plus 4. 1d4. It doesn't say what the plus... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Plus, plus 4. Plus. She said plus oh, 4. Okay. Oh, the um, attack modifier thing? No. No, on your spell sheet it should say what it does. She's not able to look four. at her sheet. She's got the wrong reader. You need to open it under oh. with a different reader. Oh yeah, I'm using the just the angel one now. Oh, what you are so you can see it. Okay, it's on page five. Page five. Okay. You mean your sandwich? Yeah. Uh, tomorrow. The attack modifier. It says charisma. Go to the very last page and look at the. Um, page five. It's at the top the, of page the five. Yes, uh, plus 1d4, FCL5, 11, and 17. No, those are levels. No, no, forget about that. You're not fifth level no, yet. No, you're just 1d4. 1d4. Uh, just 1d4. Yeah. So there's no plus to it, just 1d4. Oh, okay. So that's it, just two? Two, okay. And that was Doug. Okay. Yeah, so Doug has disadvantage on the next attack roll. Yeah, that's right. So he is disadvantaged. 
Okay. Actually, let me change that, but it's too confusing there. Dave is not this, yeah. Dave is just damaged. Uh, let's go with Luthien. Uh, uh, they're not uh, immune to like burning damage. Right? No, we, no, we don't know. Hit, hit Dave. Yeah, I'm gonna just hit him again with my fire fire boat. Ooh, D twenty. Andante, clear your dice tray. Oh, it's not clear. Ah. Oh yeah. See, you cursed your mother. Oops. <laughs> okay, two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hold it. That was uh, Dave, right? Ooh. Yeah, Dave yeah. missed. I have a six, but eight won't hit me. No. Right? No, it won't hit. No. Okay. All right, so. Who's next? Wild Bill. Wild Bill, do something cool to undead. I will do the sacred flame. Oh. Ooh, yes. Okay. This is okay. an um Yeah. This is So a that's game. a deck save. The Google has to do a deck save. That's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> okay, so you 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 shot it. Who are you after? Doug or Dave? I'm going after Dave. Oh, Dave. Good. Good, good. He's got a good. higher dex than Doug. Uh, plus two, sixteen. What's your damage? Um, one D8. It's a 1d8, so hold, please. It's a massive... Single. Oh God! Point. Jesus. Okay. I don't think I get any bonuses on that. No, you got no. you got shit. And he no. jumped out of the way anyway. <laughs> Hang your head in shame, Huni. Show these guys what how you do it. Okay, I send a chill touch on Dave, and it strikes him. For two points of damage, but he's undead, so he's disadvantaged on the next attack. Okay. Two for Dave. Dave has actually taken quite a bit of damage. Uh, so Dave's pissed off, and with his disadvantage, he's going to beat the shit out of Gunny. Don't worry. Oh. He's going to bite you. Cool. And then he's going to claw the fuck out of you. <coughs> so first he's going to bite you with your AC of 20. Fuck that. So, bite! Booyah! He misses. Cool. And now he claws you with his dirty infected claws. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Um, it's not disadvantage. It's me only again. disadvantage versus me, not versus everyone. Ah, okay. Well, it didn't matter. I wasn't even doing that with the math. So, yeah, he misses uh, Captain 20 AC anyway. Yep. Okay. So, Doug, Doug is going to claw and bite the shit out of Wild Bill. First, he's going to bite you in the groin. <laughs> I'm not laying hands there. No. What's your AC? What's your AC? My, I might have my AC you. is 18. No, nope, he missed. So he's going to claw you. Okay. Nah! He's doing horrible. 11. Plus four. No. Okay, Gunny, do something. Oh. I will slash at him again. Ah, crap. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Um, and Dante. Eight. Eight. 
eight a minute. Oh, uh, you miss. A minute. Okay. Damn. Andante. Andante. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um. Is this? Do, can I like go use my sword and poke at the? Okay, you can get to him. Yes. I, I'll I'll just say that you can get past Luthien. and she's not blocking you like uh, Demio. <laughs> Um, I have a, a sword, right? Yeah. Uh, well, that's something you should check before you move closer. Yeah, the <laughs> rapier. Rapier. Yes, rapier. 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 Rapier is a really thin sword uh, for weaklings and dandies. Hey. Um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. I'll, I'll try to attack Doug. Okay, roll. Roll, roll, da, 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 da. roll, 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 the boat. Rolling, rolling, roll. Ooh, 18. Oh, shoot. Plus? Plus, uh, oh, dex. It's yes, plus three. Okay, you, you just hit him. So okay. roll your damage. Uh, damage is uh, an eight plus one dice eight. Okay, uh, yeah, this. This is, ooh, 8 plus 3, 11. Ooh, 11 total. 11, and this is nice. Doug. So, he's still up. Whoa. Luthien, these are not skeletons. Oh, yeah. These are actual again. challenges. Wow. Would I be in the danger of hitting on Dante? With what? With my fire bow? Uh, <laughs> only if you roll a one will I make you roll. Okay. If you roll a one, I'll make you uh, roll to see if you hit Andante or Bill or yourself. But you're not going to roll a one. Nah. Oh, 16. I think I hit. Bummer. Yeah. Because I have hit. a six to hit. You hit before, so roll your damage. Okay. It's the 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9. Oh, hit that. 9 Ooh, plus. Good, good. Oh, no, this was Firebolt. Okay, 9. Yeah. And this is Doug. So 9. Mm -hmm. So that makes that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's still up. But wow. he's weak on his feet. He felt that. It's like um, he's got exposed ribs now. You burn the flesh right off, and he, you can see his ribs. Um, Bill. Who's next? Is it Bill? It's Wild Bill Kelso. I, I will do Sacred Flame on Doug. Okay. I'm Brother Wild Bill Kelso, and don't you forget it. Yeah. Well, what am I rolling? I am rolling a deck save to jump out of the way. And okay, uh, what's your damage? Uh, that's a D eight, correct? That is correct. Five. Okay. Good. Oh. You failed the deck save. He falls. Oh. He's very sad. Doug is pissed. <laughs> okay, Huni. Oh no, that was no, that was. That Dave was is yeah, pissed. Yeah, Huni, Huni, Huni. Doug is dead. Dave is pissed. Huni's turn. From oh, the back. Oh fuck! Where the cow is on that one. Ooh, ooh, but what did you do? I didn't chill touch. Oh, okay, that's okay. You just chilled yourself. No, it's, it's I'm shooting it at someone. So normally what we've done in the past is if you roll a one on an attack, you, you roll another attack to see if you hit. And if you, like, hit somebody, 
you roll high enough, you hit somebody. Otherwise, you know. Uh, we, 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 we just hit ourselves. Or you yeah. have a chance of hitting someone else. There is a chance here because you're going after Dave and there's like everybody's in the way. Yeah. So let's just do this. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five. So I'm going to ask you to roll a 10 sided dice. One to two, you hit yourself. Three, four, Luthien. Uh, five, six, Andante. Seven, eight, Bill. Mm -hmm. And nine, ten, Gunny. Four, whatever that is. One, two, three, four. That's, that's Luthien. Me. You hit Luthien. Yeah. Do your damage, and she'll but drop because she has I, shit for do hit Do I points. have magic shield against magic spell? And no, that's a spell. No, no, no it won't you have work. to have cast it. It's like three points of damage. Ooh, sorry. Fine. Luthien takes damage, and yeah. it's now Dave's turn. And Dave is just going to, he's got Gunny right there, so he's going to give it another go. So bite. Claw. Fuck! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> he left damage to himself. Where is it? Uh, claw. Oh, man. Did he claw himself to death? Did seven points of damage to himself? Seven plus. Oh. Yes. He clawed Did himself. He, he? he killed himself. Yes. <laughs> That's so heroic. Wow. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> He got so scared of me that he had to kill himself. What can I say? <laughs> There's a door. There's also a door in the hallway. I'm going through the door. Oops, I got the wrong guy. Right there. I follow behind. The music school just lined me and said uh, no class today. Okay. Ah, okay. This looks interesting. So we're 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 in. Oh, big room. There is a big room. Red. There is a large is that... statue. Oh. There's a large statue there of um, a really nasty. And there's a fountain. Uh, so there's a winged... You know those Cupid statues that pee and that's the water that goes into the fountain? But yes. This. this is a winged demon and it's puking up blood that goes inside that blood fountain. Cool. <laughs> okay. So am I able to determine whether it is actual blood? There is blood on the floor around... The room. So if you're you step into the room, you're you're you can walk through a, a, a small puddle of blood. Um, you do give me a give me a wisdom check uh, perception. A perception what check. What we used before, investigation. So yeah, let's uh, let intelligence intelligence check, not wisdom. Just 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 an. I mean, do I use a skill? Yeah, use investigation. I'm just using my intelligence. Okay. Well, I barely have any of that. So. That's great. Oh. I'm rolling. Maybe somebody else. 20. Do it. Just roll a 20. Someone else will figure it out. Yeah. Ooh, well, 20. That's no problem. Natural 20. <laughs> okay. Natural 20. <laughs> with, a, with a natural 20, not only can you tell... That is actual human blood. It's O negative. <laughs> oh, <laughs> awesome! That's the universal. Yeah. yeah. No, it's the universal donor. O negative. Yeah. So if anybody's needing any blood, now's the time to get it. That is true. Um. All 
All right, so it's a five foot radius uh, fountain. I and look for five, feet, doors. five feet around the fountain, there's, uh, oh. it, it drips blood. There's another door over there. Um, I will um, look for secret doors around the fountain. Okay. Um, move yourself in closer so that you can look for the thing. Huh? Do I recover from the hit point I lost? No, you no. don't. It's not like Demio. No. Okay, so we have to wait another day? Yes. Mm -hmm. or, or, or find some healing stuff like drink drink holy blood like the grail. And uh, I open this door over here. Hold on, I need some saving throws. Oh, you're opening that door? Okay, great. Uh, you open this door and you see those guys. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. I just want to open While the door you see the them, Gunny, I'm going to move you so I can see your face because um, it's so pretty. Yeah. It's um, true. And uh, I need Wild Bill, Gunny, and Andante to all roll 20 sided dies. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, saving throw against what? Constitution saving throw. Okay. Constitution, I get a plus two. Okay. Constitution is, uh, where is it? Plus yeah, Brian, three. My total oh. is 15. I got a one. So I got 12 then? B3 total. Okay. Who did not make the saving throw? That we you don't know what the save difficulty is. You're right. That would be Gunny, and Gunny easily didn't make it, and yeah. Andante easily did not make it. What? Uh, you both feel uh, <gasps> exhausted. <laughs> oh. So you're you now have half movement. Okay. And. Any attacks you make that are physical do half damage. Okay. Now, weirdly, Kelso, you feel pretty good. You feel like I got five more hit points good. Wow. Uh -huh. Now, if this puts you over your maximum hit points, does it? Yes. They're there for the rest of the day. Okay. Or until you lose them. Until so, I lose them. Yes. Now, Gunny, you were looking for stuff, right? I need you to make a perception check. That is... Uh, so, so, Brian? Yes. For exhaustion, there are actual specific rules. In yeah, I know, but I'm just going to make a quick ruling so we can get through it. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to bog down. So uh, make a 17. perception check. What is it? 16. 17. Oh, 17. Okay. Then um, you notice a light shining up through the blood fountain, from the bottom of the blood fountain. Okay, I will tell the guys there's a light shining up through the bottom of the It's uh, like... Coming, it's like a really bright, glowing gem of some sort. Mm. Looks like there's a gem in the fountain. Does anybody want to get it? I'll get it. You have to get in the fountain to get it. No, I use a mage hand and I grab it. Okay. You have to be able to see it. Okay, all right. Um, I mean standing... Standing next to the fountain at what least. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to stand next to the fountain. I call my familiar and say, go climb up the wall and look into the fountain and tell me what you see. Oh, I know what he's going to do. Smart. And so I use the familiar's eyes to guide the mage hand in and grab the, grab the glowing gem. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's smart. Okay. Uh, okay, roll to hit. I know it'll, it should be able to do it, but let's just... 
I need it to be difficult for some. Let's do a difficulty check of, uh, let's say, 10. That's pretty. No, five. Five's pretty easy. You roll a five or less, a four or less, you miss. You wasted your spell. It's not a spell, it's a cantrip. So I can do it as often as I want. Sure, and you made it. Uh, you just okay. barely made it. All right, you've got it. Um, uh, familiar, roll your saving throw. Uh, yeah, he's fucked. He's, he's uh, so fucking familiar tired. Familiar rolls a 20 on the save. No, he rolled a 1. So I got a nat 20 on the, the roll. But I got a nat 1. He, he failed. I rolled mine first. I just I said I'll roll and I did. So he's like huh? fucked. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, you're holding in your hand a gem that is glowing brightly. Uh, one, what color? Well, is this it? Is this the phylactery? It is a gem glowing brightly. One might even call it roll a. Everyone roll a. a arcana check? Can I do an arcana check on this? Yeah, roll an arcana check. Oh. I got arcana like 22. Six. No problem. It's a gem of brightness. Oh, okay. Everyone roll? No need. He got it. Uh, I will leave this room. You leave the room. Evidently, yes. you're so tired, you ran past everyone else. No, I ran. I just walked over there. <laughs> I'm bigger than they are, so I just walk on top of them. <laughs> so are we going down the hall? Do you want to drink some hall? more blood? <laughs> oh, shit. It might give you power back. Get points. Oh, my. I'm not going to try it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going into this room. I'm right after him. And I'm avoiding the mold on the floor. That's not mold. Sorry, I need to describe it. There are uh, slimy pools on the floor and also shooting from the walls are jets of gas. Now, on the map, it gives the impression that that's permanent. It's not. It's just like shh. spots of gas. Shh. Right. So that so those shh. so those four places on the wall that shh. we can see, gas is coming into this area. Yes. Correct, Brian. Yes. And it does extend all the way to the wall. So, is there a smell to this gas? Oh, it just smells really nasty, like sulfuric. Mm. Sulfur. Is it hurting our lungs? Is it, Only is it if you spouting it out and we can time it, or it's consistently Shh. blowing it's out? It's inconsistent. It spouts. You can walk around. Oh, no. breath. Oh, breath and move to that door. door. Let's go out the other way then. Well, we can't. I mean, if, no Brian, if I understand right, when we walk into this room, the jet of gas on the left and the get, jet of gas on the right extend to the opposite wall. Yes. So, so right now, Gunny and Wild Bill are between wall. the gas jets. Yeah, between the gas jets. Yes. Uh, it is absolutely possible to get past. Okay. Well, maybe not. Hold our breath and go to the door. Um, you can try to avoid it. Yeah. So um, we can we can jump past it, if, or it's just a continuous stream. Dexterity saving throw. For all of us? Only if you, if you try through, to get past it. If you go through this room, you're going to have to save. Um, 
you're going to do a dex roll to get past. If you have acrobatics or tumbling, you have a higher chance. Athletics? Hmm. Sure. Play athletics. I'll okay. give you that. I will do that. All right, I so will. move your figure. I will need to go there, and I will roll. Okay, so you're going to need to roll. Roll. God dang it. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, How many times? No. Okay. Well, I, I got plus six because I got plus five when I play. Six. Don't, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. You're not dead yet. Yet. Uh, okay. So let's see what happens to the next person. I'm going to move your body so that we can see. Body? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I want to see your head. It's blocked. I I will attempt to get through the gas to get to Gunny. Okay. He's so dead. I'm rolling. I'm rolling a twenty. Yes. Right. Yes. Move the figure, then roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> so do I need to roll again, or do I take the twelve? Uh, no, just... you take the twelve. Fine. Fine. And, and I, I have a plus two dexterity for acrobatics. 14. So it's a 14. Okay. Okay, so that's you. This is Gunny. All right, anyone else? Uh, I don't know. Just move. I guess we have to move to the door, right? Well, there's a very uh, direction. There's two different directions you can go, but if you want to split the party, you could do that if you're foolish, or you can continue on with them. Oh, well, we can wait to see what's happening to me. Case turn, or anybody can go. Case tired. <laughs> Yeah, Kay is tired. She's exhausted. She's not gonna run as well. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Gunny All right, let me it. let me do something here. Um, I'm gonna use the mage hand and see if I can plug up this spout right here with the mage hand and lessen the gas. Okay. And just like jam the mage hand into the the gas spout and see if I can lessen the gas so it's easier to run across. Okay, uh, Luthia, that... I see you moved, so roll your dice, your 20. <laughs> she tried to slip by while I was listening to Hyoni. <laughs> so does, uh, does the mage... Okay, it does not, does not do it. It doesn't work. So the gas is not affected at all by, no. by plugging the hole or anything? No, no. Uh. It must be coming out of something. Is there's no way I can I can jam something in? It looks like it's coming out of the wall. It's not oh, okay. a hole so it's in not the a wall. Spout or anything. It's not a hole. It's not a spout. It, it's just coming out as if materializing for some reason. Yeah. Or some sort of magical effect. Okay, so I save, right? I'm 21. You're fine. Gunny is fucked. Am I, was I okay on my save? You're fine. Yeah, okay. I'm fine. How do I heal? Who's, who's on, left? On Dante. On Dante. Oh, and yeah. Hugh. All right, I have, I have a blanket. And can I pour water? Onto the blanket, and and Dante is is cursed or something. Uh, For now, she's weak. Yeah. So like can I just like kind of like pour this water on the blanket and wrap it and say, Dante, wrap it around your face as you go through. Oh, uh, you can try that. Will that give her a bonus to her save? We will find out when she rolls. Okay. So, because she's really really high for that. Soothless, right? Or stealth? Mm -hmm. 
wrong oh, game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other game. It's Demio. And that thing yeah. you going through with the gas or not? Okay, I'll, I'll walk through with the stuff then. Okay, so you're gonna walk slowly through, roll your 20 sided die? <gasps> Ooh, ah, it's a four. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That tells me all I Do you need have like a, a dex or something with gas? It should be like a dex save. Nah, she's You're a bard, so. so she what does, does it nah, end it's up not, it's not. It's not going to be enough. Especially since she's already cursed. Oh, a resistance to fire, not to. Uh, no, gas. no. <laughs> No. All right, anyways, toss the blanket back to me, and I'm just going to, like, leap through with the blanket trying to protect me. And roll. Andante, clear your roll. I got 14, 14 and... Plus uh, 1 plus... 17. 17. So that's an 18. You're okay. Okay. And, okay. I'm going to see what's happening to Gunny. Okay. Uh, Gunny and Andante both have a green color to their skin. Oh, awesome. He's gone again. Oh, am I awake? Oh, You're awake. awake. You don't feel bad, but you feel like you could start getting sick soon. Mm. Oh. A weird stairway. There was no saving throw or anything? No saving throw. You Wait, already did happened, that. I, I that got, was your that I was got your bumped out. Did something happen? Oh, we got green. Uh, okay, let's continue on. I mean, there's nothing we could do right now. Well, and I'll uh, I'll keep an eye on you if you need to have the healing potion. There yeah. you go. That's a good idea. If you, when you open the door, what happened? You said you got green. Uh, no, the, the the effects of the gas turned the their gas. their skin green and they don't feel well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got cursed in the other room, and I got gassed in this room, so I'm not doing well. So you suck, essentially. I suck. <laughs> well, but now, there's one one thing. Does this, I mean, you guys should be able to pass through the gas without any additional ill effects. Do you want to take a look down that hall, Gunny, and see if, we're, if we should go there or down the stairs? Let's just go down the stairs. The it's, stairs uh, go the up. Stair the stairs go up. I'm sorry. The guys who are hurt just stay behind. Oh, no, you're right. They're down. The stairs go down. Yeah, it's yeah. a spiral, right? Yeah. yeah, we should just go push on and find that phylactery. Okay, let's go. Okay. Who's first? Luthien is first. Okay. Andante. Luthien, Andante. I'm third. Gunny, Bill, Huni. Yeah, I'm going to put you here so I have an order. All right. So what's the... Down the stairs, yes. down the stairs, yes. down the stairs. What's the, the deal with the spider? It really got hurt or, or it didn't? Uh, it's uh, just really tired. It's not fucked too bad. I just dismiss it. Frank. Frank. Okay. Are we meeting Frank on the stairs? Okay, Luthien, you're going down the stairs and then coming up the stairs. It looks like a... Um, someone took a bunch... It, it really seems like someone took a whole bunch of dead bodies and sewed them together. And, oh. Uh, what is he holding? Uh, he is holding... Actually, he's not holding anything. That's... Um, Someone has bolted uh, steel plates to his arms. Wow. And, you know, oh. to kind of... Experiment. Uh, yeah. Hit people harder. <laughs> yes. So that sort of thing is what he is. And... 
And at that point, we take a break. I'm gonna take a, I, I need to wash my hands very much. Okay. <laughs> I will be back. If you need to wash your hands, um, take a bathroom break and then come back. Okay. Yeah. You know, I just left and did it. I've gone twice already. <laughs> Josh, uh, I go first? No, not yet. I have to press oh. the button. This is good. Everybody's coming back. Yeah. And we're on. All righty. Uh, we're running a little late for our friends in... Um, our friends who actually live in the real untamed outreach. Not far from Abeline. Abeline. Um, and so we'll do, uh, I'm, I'm told maybe we can do this last room, whatever it is, and then we will uh, we'll take a break uh, for however. We'll stop this session and we'll see what happens. So. We won't open this door. Okay. Then again, if you open the door, then we'll deal with what's in behind that door, and then we should probably take a break because. Oh. So is Frank our friend, or we need to hit him? Okay, you're going down the stairs, and Frank, with his big steel weights bolted to his arms. Is standing in front of the door? He's coming up like the stairs. If you, want to go, if you want to go down the stairs, you okay. need to go through Frank. But Frank's going to come up the stairs and go through you. But Lorraine, he clearly has not been with us because he is our friend and we need to hit him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I can, I can hit him from a distance. I don't have to wait and you hear uh, come all the way up, right? Okay. Because I have uh, like a 30 feet uh, range for sure. the Sure, he's oh. there. 120 feet. Ah, okay. So he's, uh, when he's 120 feet away, I hit him. Okay, he's not 120 feet. You can see 60 feet. feet with your dark vision, so he's 60 feet. Okay, then I hit him when he's within 60. He's there. So can I roll? Um, I'm gonna let you and me roll. I'm gonna let you have it. He's far away. Go ahead. Roll to hit, and then piss him off, and he'll kill you. Drop stuff. Oh shit! Uh oh. Uh, two. Uh, two plus three, five. I guess, I guess it's not a hit. Five. I'm gonna go with that being a miss. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But I'm, on Dante, I'm not anybody else because I, my direction is just down the steps. On Dante, you and Gunny can both take a shot for a distance shot before Frank can get to Luthien and kill her. Okay. Do you have a distance shot of some sort? Um, I did not. Crossbow. Yeah. I did not. I didn't. I didn't get a longbow. Okay. Okay. I don't have anything. Come on, Danny. Uh, yeah. So we roll the 20-sided. 20 20-sided 20 die to hit. Yeah. I'm going to be a, a two. Oh, no, that's Luthien. Luthien, clear your uh, roll. Andante. Sorry, sorry. Andante mm -hmm. moderato. Yeah, that's pretty high. 11, 11 press three, three. Fourteen hits. Fourteen hits easily. Crossbow yeah, bolt. Do your damage. Uh, okay, so one eight and then with plus no plus uh, plus plus three nine eleven what? nine plus three. So she does nine damage except. Okay, I'm go I mean, I'm sorry. On Dante, I'm going to be nice and tell you that your crossbow bolt goes right into the center of his chest. Yeah, now, what do they say? 
They say always go for center mass. You got yeah. it. Pops right in, and you hear uh, like a. <laughs> And it doesn't seem to phase him at all. Oh, no. He keeps moving forward as if he's taken no damage. Doesn't feel it at all. So that means we should run away. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, yes. am I able to cast, am, even though I'm far away, am I able to cast a sacred flame on him? Okay. Give it a go. I'll let right. you. You're the furthest that someone... Well, Gunny's in front of you, but he doesn't have a distance weapon because evidently he doesn't know how to use a bow or a crossbow. So go ahead. <laughs> I forgot to buy one. Okay. So it's rolling a 20. 20 sided die to hit. Okay. AC is 9. I'm just going to be nice and put it out there. AC is 19. Nine. Okay. He gets a dex roll. Oh no, Sacred Flame, you've used this, yeah. You just it's, well, it's, it's a cantrip. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, he does not, he doesn't even bother trying to dodge it. You envelop him. What's your damage? Um, five. Okay. Okay, come here. So fireworks, but not physical. Uh, only magic damage, probably. It's a magical beam. And he moves forward. I will. Can I get by the other people and move down to meet him? What? Okay. Do you have a magical weapon? No, I'm just going to meet him with my sword. What else can I do? So, obviously, the regular weapon doesn't harm him. Don't know that. Yeah. Just assume he might be on steroids or... Oh, uh, yeah, he's a berserker. Take yeah. a PCP. Uh, no, he is not berserk. He seems rather calm. Okay. See? Uh, it's an illusion. It's not a real thing. Oh, oh. oh, you know how you <laughs> test that? You go touch him. Okay, you Gunny, you're... Him. Okay, Gunny, you I'm going to put him. you here. Okay. Can I get by? Sure. Why not? Okay. I will use intimidation. See if he will stop. Oh, okay. That'll work. Um... Oh, God. Hey, I need to be. No, nothing. Doesn't work on a okay. construct. Doesn't work on a construct? This is not real? No, he's, a, he's real. He's really constructed. Okay. That was my action. So, if you want to hit me. Oh, shit, man. You don't want to be there. No. Damn. Are they both on the stairs? Yes. Are you guys still on the stairs behind Gunny now, or did you have sense to go up the stairs? Uh, he's in front now. Andante, did you did you go did you come back up the stairs, or are you still on the stairs? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't move. You came up the stairs. The correct answer. Okay. Luthien, are you up the stairs? Yeah, if, if we did not hurt him at all. All right, so we, Gunny is the only him. one on the stairs. Oh, we can't yep. him. Yep, they away. All right, Gunny, he has two attacks. Okay. First attack. Uh. Plus, well, your AC is 20, right? Yes. Okay, so he missed. Oh. Okay with that. Second attack. Okay. Missed. 
Okay. That's really fortunate. What are you going to do, sir? I'm going to let you do the battle. I'm going to let you do your move before anyone else can try to save you. Anybody else try to save me, huh? That's not a good thing to say, man. I mean, well, I'm still, you know, he missed me, so I don't assume I can kill him still, so I'm going to try to hit him. Are you, are you on the stairs? Yep, right above him. Because I've got, I've got the spell that can shake the ground. If you get off the stairs, I could try to shake him down the stairs. Do I hear him say that? I thought he could roll, roll something. Okay. Uh, Andante, you notice that there's like this... Uh, there's... Uh, it looks like uh, next to the wall... There's like a cover that goes over the door, the stairs. Someone had recently lifted it up like a, like a cellar door. Or like, like a, a manhole man cover? Yeah, yeah, something like, like that. But Gunny's inside, so. Oh, okay, so we shouldn't oh. touch it yet. Does somebody want to yell this to me? Maybe I will hear it, leave. Okay. Hey! Wait, yell down that thing you know I don't know! You mean like that? <laughs> See something on the wall looks like a, what, lever? <laughs> Not a lever, a door, a cover. a cover. Yeah, a cover on the thing, but you're inside, okay. Okay, so she's gonna, so, so Andante yells that to us? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, you're not on the stairs, you're not on the stairs. If you're going to look down, you have to be close to the stairs. Do I but, know, hear this? Sure, you hear it. They found a they found the cover to the cover the stairs. Okay, I will retreat. Okay. Move your figure away from the stairs. Everyone else is out of Oh, you went way early far. Okay, once you started moving up the stairs, Bill, you look down, you notice that Frank doesn't continue up. So Frank has stopped as soon as all of us were off the stairs. Yes. I am going to slam the cover down over the stairs. Okay. Is that, I mean, do I need to roll to do that? <laughs> uh, no, you can do that. All right, I will slam the cover and I will, um, and can I slam the cover and then open this door? Uh, no, don't open the door. Okay, so I'm going to slam the cover you slam the cover. Frank, Frank is, is trapped is, in the stairwell, and we will stop there. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you start fighting with Frank, it's going to take a while. Oh. Oh no! I mean, the the, uh, the conclusion is foregone. It's absolutely certain that he will kill you all, but it would take a while. But, uh, okay. 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 I mean, that's what I got from you, and that's the reason I ran away. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> you can pick up to find these guys. Yeah, there's stuff. You, you just... You we didn't just, pick up anything. You rarely uh -huh. look for stuff. You got a... You got a... You got a gem of brightness. And you haven't been searching rooms. Yes, we haven't been searching rooms. That is true. We will. We could do that. Some healing potion. But we. And when we killed Doug and Dave, we didn't search that room. No, we didn't. I tried to search the room with the fountain, but I got sick, so I had to leave. Okay. Yeah. So. Does my. And we did none of the caves. We did. That's okay. Okay. So maybe next time we ought to just go and 
and uh, just double check those rooms. Okay, we will well, we have to go through the gas again, right? Yeah, I don't want to go through the gas again. There's another door. You can either go back through the gas or open this door next time we play. Okay. okay. Now, let me ask a couple of things, though, about um, this man, this cover. Is this like a manhole cover or is it like a. Well, a it's more like a cellar. It's at? more like a. A really fancy cellar door cover. Mm. But oh, it so is, it's hinged or something. It's hinged and it does, ha it is metal. And there okay, is a so latch. There is a latch. Okay. So as if someone could lock it, but there's no lock. And you can't leave it like a jar or anything like that. It's we either open, open or open. Well, it was a jar. It was open when you came in. But it, you, yeah, know, you can't. It's either all the way shut or all the way open. Yeah, so I mean, it's not like a manhole cover that you can kind of like, kind of place over the manhole, no, but a no, little bit it off fits so perfectly. that you can shoot into it. No, no. I okay. suppose someone could hold it for you, hold it open, but we'll find out next time if you go that route. Okay. But, uh, all right, I want to thank you guys all for playing. This has been awesome. Yeah. And, uh, Good to, to meet you guys. Yeah, it was great to meet you too. And thank you again for all the help you're giving me for my character. It, it's, um, it's not a problem. I've made a lot of characters, and so it's fun to think of new characters. The uh, when when would we like to play again?